Now, okay, I haven't reviewed one of these before. Uh, I have a lapel mic for you this time by Blue Smart, the Blue Smart lapel mic, and it's a budget affordable lapel mic. But it, uh, it is well thought out, and it does come with a few little accessories and odds and ends. So I'm just going to tell you what you get, what's included. Then I'm going to list to you the specs. Then I'm going to show you it closer up to camera. It might be hard, it might look like a tangled mess there, but I'll show you it closer up to camera what uh, what it looks like properly. And then I'll tell you the price and if I recommend it or not near the end. Now I'll show you this a little closer up in a minute, but it does come with a pouch, which is a nice addition, especially at this price range. Kind of a plasticky, rubbery pouch to keep it in. You get it with a decent length cable. You get a basic little information leaflet that you don't really need to look at at the moment. Then you get an adapter, and this is not any fancy adapter. It's not like three and a half to a quarter inch or anything like that. It's basically, I'll show you it closer up in a minute, but basically it's uh, one of those sort of three or four, is it four poles? They call it uh, stereo ends to like a mono three and a half millimeter end. I'll go, if I'm not explaining that well, I'll go into it again later. It has a metal case and it is durable. It has a little uh, a little fluffy windscreen arm, but you can pull that off if you want. But it does come with one of those installed. It is compatible with TRRS CTIA standards and it is good for a multiple uh, array of devices. Not just things like audio recorders, but also things like uh, tablets such as iPhone, uh, iPads or smartphones such as iPhones or Samsung phones or LG phones, whatever. So you can use this on the go with your phone and that is quite good because that is quite a good way of having something small and discreet uh, like in your pocket with this plugged into it to use instead of having to have some expensive dedicated recorder and sometimes a, a handheld recorder thing might be quite large. You can have a small little smartphone in your pocket discreetly with this inside your shirt then into your pocket it has a clip as well which is really handy it's also a good way to help store it because you can clip all the wires to it and that isn't just for that of course it also to clip it to your shirt it also has like i say the other cable which is uh, for trrs omtp standard headphone jacks so basically you get some let me just see if i can show you this closer up Hopefully you can see that you get some of these with these loads of little black poles, like one, two, three, like poles. And those are the stereo, really good stereo ones. That most things do tend to support these days, but not all. So what can you do about that? Some things, like some phones and tablets, especially if they're cheaper, may only work with these type, which as you can see, one, two. They just have two close black pole bits here, lines, rings up here as opposed to the other one which had three. I'm sure, you, I think you can see the difference there. So if you get something that will only work with one of these ones with two, you can put this adapter on like that. Now you can plug it into one of those two ringed ones. Now here it is. Here's all the cables. It's got a good length cable, I'll tell you about that in a minute. You have the fluffy wind bit here that will just come off there it is without without the actual muff bit on then you have the clip let me just take that off there you go then that can clip clip to your shirt and it's made of metal so it isn't going to be it isn't going to break easily and isn't going to snap off or uh come undone it's nice it's got decent sort of pinch and it's made of metal which is really good especially when it is price range sometimes they skimp on that sometimes these clips on cheaper ones are actually just plastic. This is nice, good quality metal. Then you have it itself. Then you have a good long cable plus the adapter. Okay, so hopefully you saw it quite well. Uh, one thing I like about this is it is good quality for the price because some of these ones that try to be really cheap for the average person because they can be quite expensive, they will be made, you know, the clip will be plastic, it might have a shorter cable, it might not have any adapters or even a pouch. Or even if it does have a pouch to store it in, the clip the clip will be plastic and the cable might the cable might be short and you certainly probably wouldn't get the uh the adapter. But this as well 
as having a decent length cable and a pouch. It also has a metal instead of plastic clip, which I think is just really, really good. They'll help it last a bit longer, less likely to wear and break and things. And it does have that adapter, even if you don't need it necessarily. It's there for people that end up coming across a need for it. Its type of microphone is condenser, because there are different types of condenser, dynamic, ribbon. Most are condenser these days. This is a condenser. It's polar pattern, which is kind of how it, the, the kind of way it picks up basically. It's omnidirectional, which means it picks up equally from all of its sides, front, back, left, and right. Whereas some patterns will pick everything up from that is directly in front of the mic, like uh, from the front side, whereas left, right, and back will ha won't be picked up or not as much. This one picks up from all directions equally at one kilohertz. Its frequency range is 20 hertz to 16 kilohertz. Its sensitivity is minus 30 decibels plus or minus two. Its cable length is a meter and a half, which is quite good because you might want a decently long cable. You might want quite a long cable in case you do have to go a bit further than normal or somebody's really, really like long and tall. Uh, but then again, you don't want a cable that's too long because this is, of course, intended to be clipped onto a person and worn like on their lapel or on their shirt collar. It's not meant to be going a long distance like some other microphone cables might need to. So you don't want it too long and then that's going to get in the way and be cumbersome and wrap around people and stuff like that. You want it to be a little short. So it's a meter and a half, which means you have plenty of reach or you should do to go from somebody's top down to their waist or their hip area without any problem. Not too little, not too big. It weighs just one ounce and there is pretty much no weight to it. The heaviest bit I think of it is the clip being a metal clip. And that isn't too bad. For some reason on the instructions there it says one uh, package, you get one mic, two clips, two wind muffs and one exquisite mic bag. You don't, as far as I can see, get two clips or two wind muffs. Uh, I only got one wind muff and one built on clip and I'm sure that must be a mistake. Why would it come with two clips? Well, yeah, it might do as a, a spare, but then again, I don't know it's detachable from what I can tell. So... That might just be a bit of a mistake. Uh, hopefully you can see this. This is basically just showing the frequency range and the polar pattern. Uh, so that shows what frequencies it go supports. Uh, it might not be big enough for you to really read clearly, but then that says omnidirectional at one kilohertz. So as you can see, you have this pattern. Then there's a red ring right around it, which basically shows that it picks up equally in all directions, unlike some, that might say have red down here picking up from the front, but then nothing around any of the other areas. So I'm gonna give you a mic test, and of course that will just be me saying a few words like I am now, but wearing it on my shirt collar, plugged into something, it'll either be my audio recorder, which I'm using now, or it'll be my uh, laptop. But either way, I'm gonna plug it into one of those and record a little sample so you can hear the audio quality. Okay, this is a test of the Blue Smart lapel mic for £9.75 plugged in to the Tascam DR40 linear PCM field recorder. It's plugged in to a quarter inch line in via a adapter that I bought separately. So this will give you an idea and in a minute I'll probably also play a test of it plugged in directly into a MacBook Pro laptop via a uh, via no adapter just plug directly in with no adapter used whatsoever okay this is a test of the blue smart lapel microphone clip on microphone plugged in without any adapter well any adapter not even the adapter that was included in the box no adapter just the one with the three uh, rings that come as standard on the cable plugged directly into a 13 inch late 2013 uh, MacBook Pro via its headphone slash microphone audio jack so you can see that it's being plugged into something directly without any extra cables or extra adapters needed so this is how you would probably be using it. Now what if you even though this is obviously intended for people to plug it into perhaps their smartphone or a basic little audio recorder 
uh, what if you have, say, a fancier uh, audio recorder or something like that that uses either a quarter inch line in or XLR and it has no standard 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack or microphone jack? What do you do then? Well, it doesn't have an adapter included, but you can get one of these. You can pick up one of these from uh, anywhere like Amazon and they normally cost less than two pounds. You might even be able to get one, a really, really basic one for uh, for uh, about 75 pence for 75p. Uh, they will probably be plastic. This one here costs about a pound 70 and I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't say on the product page. If feels cold like metal but it kind of feels plasticky but anyway what this is this has the big end this is a uh, quarter inch end or like I think that's about 6.3 millimeters and then on the top you have a hole to plug in a 3.5 millimeter cable such as the one included included with this into this then this can go into your quarter inch line in on something like an audio field recorder so that is a way if you do for some reason you're probably not going to need that you're probably going to not need this you're probably going to be plugging this into something like a uh, smartphone or something using the ends that are included but if for some reason like me you might want to occasionally plug this into something something like a field recorder that uses these larger type ends that is the way to use it it, it can be done now here's the kind of rubbery plastic bag. It says Blue Smart, the company name in it, and it's basic just a uh, drawstring. So I do really, really recommend it. It only costs nine seventy five, nine pounds seventy five in the UK. If it's available in the US, I'll put that as a text overlay in US dollars. So for less than ten pounds, you get a great microphone with decent length cable, metal clip, bag to keep it in really good i do really really recommend it please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel if you could do me a huge favor if you're watching this a review on the amazon product page please hit the yes button next to was this review helpful that helped me out a lot too thanks for watching